There we go. Good evening and welcome to the Arundel Camera Club live stream for Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. My name is John Milliker and I'm the club president for the 2020-2021 season. The Arundel Camera Club was founded in 1957 and exists to promote the art, science, and education in all aspects and fields of photography. Normally we meet at 7 p.m. every Wednesday evening during the school year in Severna Park, Maryland. However, with the current disruptions, we've decided to continue business as normal in a virtual space which allows us to protect our members and guests from the current COVID-19 situation. For more information about us, please visit www.arundelcameraclub.org. Before we get to tonight's topic, we have a few upcoming schedule items to cover. Please note that tomorrow's fundraiser at Brian Brew has been canceled due to precautions after a part-time employee has tested positive for COVID. Once all employees have tested negative, they will reopen, and at that time, we will work with them to see if we can reschedule. If you have invited your friends and family to join us that night, please be sure to invite inform them of the cancellation. At 5 p.m. on Wednesday, October 29th, that's the deadline for the October photo assignment entries, and that is for board and card games. The photos from paid members will be placed in a post, and whatever image gets the most likes for the best photograph to capture the theme will win a certificate. Then that evening at 7 p.m. on October 29th, our weekly meeting will be a program from our friend Steve Hain, Reproduction photo cases, making a modern day antique with the history of daguerreotype and wet plate photo cases and how he's been recreating these beautiful antiques for modern practitioners. At the start of the month, you can start making photographs for the November photo assignment, and that theme is cooking and baking. On Wednesday, November 4th at 7 p.m., photo assignment is going to be uh, for the October images. We're going to have that photo assignment stream for board games and card games. Make sure to check out, uh, keep an eye out for an email from our program's chair and information for the stream to join us for that. Then on Wednesday, November 11th at 7 p.m., we have a program from Greg Holden on the theme of leading lines. Then Wednesday, November 18th at 7 p.m., we have a photo competition again, color and monochrome digital with no theme. Keep an eye out for email, an email from our contest chair, Lewis, for instructions. And if you have questions about competitions and submitting your own photos, please see our website, Contact Lewis at contest at arundelcameraclub.org or ask them here on the group. Tonight is our photography contest on the theme of patterns, and we're lucky to have Mike Washington in studio with us. And Mike uh, is a self-admitted in image junkie, and he believe, became interested in still photography and cinematography as a student in the 70s to augment his understanding of visual literacy. He continued his enthusiasm of the hobby through the 80s, but eventually started letting his camera collect dust through the rest of the century while he focused on a career in audiovisual presentation in the entertainment industry. Early in the new millennium, he purchased a digital point-and-shoot camera, which reignited his interest. And in the early, although in the early 2000s, he focused on refining his skills in technique, composition, processing, and editing. The hobby has since morphed into a full-time passion for him, and his subject matter varies, but he doesn't care to restrict himself to any singular genre. He likes to see the world as a visual smorgasbord and approach it with an insatiable appetite. He gets out as often as he can to feed his habit and his hard drive. Being retired makes it easy. Mike is also a member of several photo clubs and represents the Carroll County Club on the MPA board and serves as the MPA's treasurer on the MPA's executive council, MPA, of course, being the Maryland Photo Alliance. I am, uh, he says, I am an alumnus of the MPA's photographic judging program. He has no professional bona fides uh, or photography accolades, and he doesn't often compete. He says he shoots primarily for his own pr pleasure. He calls it artistic artistic masturbation. Uh, he does, however, spend a good deal of uh, spare time swiping through sites like Instagram, 500px, and 1x to see what others are doing and get ideas and inspiration. With that said, he says that he approaches judging photo contests from a very subjective point of view. Many of you are likely more experienced or skilled than I, he says. So the opinions and critiques he shares are his based on how the image works for him. He only hopes to have an eloquence to articulate the merits and areas that can be improved on each image as he, we advance through each category. Remember, this is only a photo contest, not a full contact sport. Please, no wagering. And with that, we'd like to welcome Mike and get a, get a mic check on Mike uh, here in the studio. Welcome, Mike. Hi, this is Mike and his mic. Excellent. How are you doing? I think we're doing good here. If we have anybody having any issues on our audio, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, Mike, we uh, have... Yeah, I want to make sure that everybody hears me well, because uh, I'm not a loud speaker. Perfect. Um, we're, about, uh, we're about 20 seconds behind. I'm just going to make sure we have you, uh, you catch up on us. 
All right, Mike, I have you loud and clear. We're gonna we're gonna get into uh, into the categories if you don't mind. This is right. our digital photography contest on the theme of patterns, and we have uh, we have of course two two categories, novice and unlimited. And inside those, we've split up our digital contest from into color and monochrome. Now our first our first competition that we're going to go through is going to be novice monochrome. Now typically. Uh, all of our contests come out and we award a first through fourth and also an honorable mention of 10% of the entries. However, with under 12 entries, we do not award an honorable mention. So, Mike, we're going to go through this contest here. And uh, for the novice mono, we're just going to have a first through fourth place. You understand? All right. Perfect. I'm going, to bring up, I'm going to bring up the display right now. And when you're ready, uh, we'll start on image number one. And that is... Ooh, that's an interesting file name. Let me make sure I have that file name right. Nine fives four five forty five. Are you on the on the same page there, Mike? I'm in the I'm in the novice mono right now. Okay, do you have number one up? Nine fives four five. Uh, yes. Okay, I'll go on to the next one. I just want to make sure we're we're both on the same page. Number two is bucket of bolts. Okay, nope. I'm uh, watching these on my screen because there's a bit of a latency from your speaking and uh, what comes up on the screen on your end. Absolutely, uh, our our screen is only just to make sure we don't get in any trouble, but definitely make sure to, to view them on your screen because they okay. will be 100% how they should be viewed. All righty. Number three is lattice reflection patterns. Good. Number four is for the greater good. Okay. 4B is the stairs. I'm not exactly sure why we have a B, but uh, we're going to go with that one. 4B is the stairs. Yes. 5 is promenade. Promen promenade? Yes. 5B is winter lane. Yes. 6 is spun silk. Good. Seven is the D's. Eight mm -hmm. is trio ball patterns. Yes. Okay. Nine is wooden trellis. Yes. And that's it for, uh, that's all 11 images. If you want to get back to image number one, the nine fives, four, five, we'll, uh, we'll get started. If you'd like to give us some comments on this and then we'll yes, go sir. through and do an in or an out. Okay. All righty. Uh, let me just pull that up to full screen. Uh, this is uh, this is a very uh, good representation of patterns because you got the, the patterns of the die and patterns of the knots. Uh, I personally uh, would have liked to see a little less than yet because uh, I don't think it needs it because uh, everybody kind of knows what the subject is. But uh, with that said, uh, I do like the toning. The black and white toning on this is actually pretty good, too. Uh, and I'm going to, this is a keeper. Okay, keeping number one. Number two, bucket of bolts. Got a P. Bucket of bolts. This was a good attempt, uh, and uh, but uh, there is an issue with this with focus. When you take a macro like this, something up close, it's got to be wall to wall. And side to side in depth, it's got to have total focus. And there's just too much non-focus out of here. Uh, probably could have stopped on the tone is good. The subject is good. The focus is just not there. And uh, this needs to be tight. It uh, could have been done probably in a focus stack if you know how to do that. Other than that, back up just a little bit and, uh, you know, stop the, uh, stop the aperture down a little. Uh, but uh, I'll have to take this one out. Okay, number two bucket of bolts is out. Number three, lattice reflection patterns. This one here intrigued me. I, I had to give this one a second take, too, because of the, uh, the angles of the patterns. But the patterns are good, and uh, the tone is very good. Uh, I like the black and white toning on this very well because it's a nice sharp and crispness to it and a nice, uh, nice range of, uh, of, uh, of tones. And I, I like the slight distortion of the building up top too. It just it, it makes it 
makes it an interesting photo to look at and just kind of, uh, you know, kind of uh, gaze at it, at it a bit. So we're going to keep this one in. Okay, number three in. Okay, trying to move over, trying to see what we got going on here. Lou, I think we have a little bit of a, a little bit of a computer problem. Hold on a second here. Silly me, I went over to uh, to say hi to chat on the other screen and uh, locked up my uh, my kind of back and forth uh, program. So let's go on. Uh, we're going to keep number three, right, Mike? Yes. Okay. Go on to four A for the greater good. Okay. Uh, this one was a little confusing to me. I because I really can't make out what it is, uh, and it doesn't quite make it to the level of abstract either. Uh, and and uh, the. There's a couple of issues with this that I had. Number one is the the angle of view is just slightly skewed in the incorrect way. Uh, I tried to put it in uh, in Lightroom, seeing and trying to put it in Transform, see if I could straighten it up a little bit. Uh, it's the angle of view is just a little off, and the the whole lower half is totally out of focus. Which kind of, if it was all in focus. It'd be, uh, it, it would probably be one thing, but the angle of view and the focus together, I'm going to have to take this one out. Okay, number four for the greater good is out. Next, 4B, the stairs. This is very good. Uh, this is very good. It's, uh, it's very noir in, in its tonal qualities, too. You know, you got the pattern of the stairs going up there and the texture in the walls but the coup de gras is the shadow and it's just you know the light in that air in that one little corner with a shadow uh we're going to keep this one okay number four b is in five a promenade that may be promenade but that may be a typo promenade yeah well in new orleans they call it promenade <laughs> okay this I like too because this is a uh, this is an often uh, shot type thing, but it, it never ceases to uh, intrigue me, uh, just especially if you get at the right time of day when the shadows are very strong coming in. This has a nice pattern of shadows, nice uh, nice texture, uh, nice tonal qualities uh, all around. Uh, one little quibble, and it's uh, it's you know. It's just a personal thing. I would have liked to see the, the peak of the of the foreground arch, but uh, it's not enough to you know, bounce it out. So I'm going to keep this one. Okay, five A. We're going to keep five B. Winter Lane. Okay, Winter Lane's got uh, some good things going for it. I can see why you converted this to black and white. It's probably because of the blah sky. Uh, nice curved lane. You know, everybody loves to see curves. The shadow patterns on the uh, on on the on the pathway. The downside of this is all the blockage of light from the trees. They're just you know they're all blobbed into each other, and so that just kind of throws the interest out of the out of the photo. So I'm going to have to take this one out. Okay, five B Winter Lane is out. Six spun silk. Okay, spun silk. Uh, it captured it nicely. Uh, it's you know it's very high contrast, you know. Uh, but I would have preferred to see this probably uh, zoom in a little bit more on it because you really don't need all that stuff on the side there. All that light over there is just kind of distracting to me, and the stuff on the bottom you really don't need either. Uh, a little bit tighter. Uh, spritz a few dew drops on it that would definitely you know put it in contention but i'm gonna have to take this one out too because uh it, all the other distractions otherwise it's you know, it's a nice spider web nice capture of the spider web but uh it's that's you know that's about all, all that's going for it right now okay six spun silk is out seven the d's okay uh this looks like a spiral staircase at a lighthouse 
uh, is is very uh, very good. I, you know, you've got to love the ankle because it is a little off kilter angle too, but it just catches all these layers of, of the stairs going up the patterns up, uh, you know, of the ascension of, of the stairs from, from the bottom side. Uh, this is a little bit of a slight focus problem at the ver uh, at the near uh, near right corner, but not enough to, to, to bounce it. So we're gonna keep this one in. Okay, keeping in seven. Eight, trio ball patterns. Trio ball patterns, uh, you know, it meets the category of, uh, of patterns. However, uh, again, uh, the angle, something like this, uh, I would prefer to see all those cables going straight up and down. Uh, everything is leaning in on it. And so uh, that kind of takes the interest out and actually distracts me. That uh, I did put that one also into Lightroom and put it into, uh, into Transform, threw everything up straight up and down it looked a little bit better to my eye that way <clears throat> and uh the balls to my eye here too uh and i've got it on a fairly large screen uh is not quite rock solid uh, 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 focused uh all the other elements in it work out the tones is good stuff like that but it's the fact that uh the angles are, are are just not working for me so i'm gonna have to take this one out okay eight trio ball patterns we're taking out nine wooden trellis this one uh i really like uh because it just it's it just draws you in it's just uh, that pattern the textures the the high contrast and that little wisp of a cloud uh, I think it just adds total interest to this thing. This is one, you know, you could like to see frame and hung. It's a, it's a good picture. So we're going to keep this one. Okay. Keeping number nine. And that is end. That is the end. Let's, uh, let's go back. Okay. Let me put and this here and, and, and I'll show only the images right that up. have, we're going to show only okay, the images like that have five ends. Right. Okay. Let me put this up in grid mode. We have six. Let me make sure that uh, that you confirm that we have six, and then we I have, have five. You have five. Okay. Let me let me let you know which ones I've got, and uh, and maybe I'm going to bring them up on the screen for you. Make sure that uh, that you can see that. Okay. Let me just take a look at these and match mm -hmm. the ones that. So I have that, and a six. Okay. Yeah. Which one am I missing? Ah, I see which one. Hold on, let me just pull them all back up again. And we're looking for four in this category? Correct. We're looking for uh, first through fourth place. Which one am I missing? Oh, okay, yeah. Put this in place. Give me a moment here, and just I want to get these back up on my uh, on the grid modes here, so I can look at them all okay. side by side. There we go. Six. Okay. Uh, do I uh, do I grade these in ascending order or descending order, or does it matter? It doesn't matter. You're uh, it's it's whatever you'd like to do. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put 4B, number one. Okay, let me come over to 4B. That's the stairs, right? That is the stairs, yes. Okay, that's number one. And 7N, or 7, number seven is, number, is uh, second place. The Ds is second place. Uh-huh. Hmm. Okay. Number nine is third place. Wooden trellis is third place. The wooden trellis, yes. Mm -hmm. And promenade comes in number four. Five A promenade is fourth place. 
Okay, here are your winners for tonight. In fourth place is Promenade, and that is, I believe that is Doug Wood. Congratulations, Doug. Is this is this the first win for Doug? Is Doug in the chat? And it'll take a little bit of time to get that up. And my uh, my Lightroom is not going in, in order. That's okay. Let's drag these in order if I can. I'm not going to be able to. Okay. Uh, that was Doug Wood, and in... Third place is, this is Terry Jackson with Wooden Trellis. Congratulations, Terry. Hey, Doug's in the chat. That is Doug. Good job, Doug. Very nice, Terry. And second place is Jeremy Pfeiffer with the D's. And in first place is Jeremy Pfeiffer with the Stairs. Congratulations, Jeremy. Okay, Mike, we are ready to move on. Would you like to go over to, let's do unlimited monochrome. Okay, unlimited mono. Unlimited mono, oh, unlimited mono, okay, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, okay. Let me just pull that one up and put this in solo mode and start with number one, okay. Go ahead. And we have 20 of these. We need to get this down to first through fourth and two honorable mentions. Okay. Okay. Let's get, uh, let me switch out my file names to get started. Number one, abstract wall. Okay. Number two, all mixed up. Okay. Number three, BNC connectors. Okay. Number four, butterfly. All right. Number five, Christina. Okay. Number six, crystal ball reflection and refraction. All right. Number seven, deer park. Number okay. eight, feathers. Good. Number nine, ghost raider. Okay. Number 10, graded table. Okay. Number 11, microphone diagonal. Okay. Number 12, museum stairway. All right. Number 13, Peabody patterns. Okay. Number 14, rice. Okay. Number 15, ringling museum wall. Okay. Number 16, tree bark. All right. Number 17, turkey buzzard feathers. Okay. Number 18, reflections. Good. Number 19, yana. All right. Number 20, enlightenment. Good. And that should be Thank all you. of them. Okay. Yeah. When I viewed all these, I didn't look at the titles. Now they're, now they're coming together. Now they <laughs> it helps a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, sometimes it does. And sometimes you, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. This abstract wall uh, really intrigued me. I mean, you guys can't help but get sucked into this thing. Uh, and uh, I'm going to keep this in because, you know, there's patterns there and there's a lot of pareidolia going on, which is uh, synonymous with patterns. It's just what you make of them. Uh, so we're going to, I'm going to select that as a pick. Okay. I'm going to keep in one abstract wall. Number yes. two, all mixed up. All mixed up. Uh, we're going to soundboard. Uh, I have some issues with this too. Again, uh, angle uh, is, it should be a little bit straighter uh, in order to, you know, maintain interest. And the focus is not quite right. I'm looking at the uh, EXIF data here too. And it looks like he shot this in a pretty dark spot uh, at uh, 1 40th of a second at, uh, you know, at F2.8. Uh, it, uh, it's, it, it's uh, not as good for, uh, for someone in the unlimited uh, 
category that uh, the, um, this, the, the focus should be a bit sharper and the line should be more straight uh, horizontally and, and vertically. So I'm going to have to uh, take this one out. Number two, all mixed up, is out. Number three, BNC connectors. BNC connectors. Oh, they were my lifeblood for a, a lot of my career. Uh, this one here, too, uh, probably could have done better with a more flat background. Uh, the textured background, I don't think that really helps. And again, uh, the horizontals and verticals, this should be a little bit uh, straighter, horizontal and vertically, to make this uh, have any more interest. Uh, it's it's a nice attempt. The tones are good, uh, particularly on the on the chrome of the uh, of the connectors. But uh, I'm going to have to take this one out because uh, again, it's a touch skewed. It could be a little bit more symmetrical. Okay, three BNC connectors is out. Four butterfly. Butterfly. This is lovely. This is really is uh, nice. Uh, I like the 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 fact that that uh, it went monochrome as opposed to color. Uh, because the tones of this work and the nice soft whites and the good contrast of the, of the butterfly and the detail is uh, exquisite. Uh, I really like it too. And, and the nice uh, throwing off a little soft background of the bouquet of the background is uh, good. So we're going to keep this one. Four, we're going to keep five, Christina. Christine, kind of expect to see uh, Dudley Do Right and uh, Snidely Whiplash in the background there here. Uh, this one, uh, I guess the patterns of the, of the train tracks uh, is the pattern, uh, but uh, that is not the subject. And the subject is very well lit. And I like the, uh, the fact that it is sepia. It really gives it a nice aged look. At first glance, I thought that the, uh, the blouse was a little hot, but the blouse has plenty of detail in it. Uh, so this is very well done, very well lit. Uh, we're going to keep this in. Okay, five we're keeping. Six, crystal ball reflection and refraction. This one here you can't stare out too long without uh, seeing spots. Uh, it's a good concept. Uh, and uh, I think it probably could have made just a touch better if you raised uh, your tripod up another six or so inches to get a little bit more symmetry for the uh, from the uh, top ball in the reflection. But other than that, I'm keeping it in. I, I, I like looking at it for so long. Six is in. Seven. Yes. Deer Park. Okay. And this looks like siding or something or something with bubbles on it. But anyway, uh, the downside of this one is, is uh, it should have been focused from top to bottom because you got all this nice stuff going on, but it focused starts dropping off fairly radically from uh, about the uh, first seam from the bottom. So I'm going to take this one out. Seven Deer Park is out. Eight, Feathers. Feathers. Now, here's another uh, case of uh, pareidolia. Uh, you can look at this thing and see all kinds of things in it. Uh, creatures are even the eyes are in the right spot. Uh, this is a very clever use of what uh, looks like corporization or uh, whatever they did, but uh, uh, I give them kudos for creativity, so I'm keeping this one in. Eight is in. Nine, Ghost Rider. Uh, you know, now the, I didn't uh, look at the title when I first looked at this, and now it, it kind of makes sense. Uh, it's an uh, interesting concept, and uh, however, I'm a little bit uh, dismayed about the, uh, the focus at the top. I mean, everything is actually pointing to the bottom, but it, it almost looks like it's a bifocal. Uh, I would have liked to see a little bit more sharpness and uh, either either all soft or all sharp. But it's kind of like somewhere in between. Uh, so I'm going to have to take this one out. Nine, Ghost Rider is out. Ten, Graded Table. Um, this one here, well... It obviously draws your eyes to the focal point of where the uh, where the patterns are, and uh, in some some spots this could be uh, sold as fine art, but uh, I'm not really buying it. Um, it's uh, it really uh, you know it lacks interest or punch 
that, uh, that others have in this category. So I'm going to take this one out. 10 graded table is out. 11 microphone diagonal. Okay. When I first saw this, I thought it was a microphone. It might be a little sure 57. Um, this one here, I, it goes two ways. You got half of it in focus, half of it soft, and that can work. Uh, the, uh, the band across the top is hitting the right diagonal points. Uh, the parts that are sharp are very sharp and the parts that are soft are very soft. So it works in the category of patterns. So I'm going to keep this in. 11 is in 12 museum stairway. This one I like too, but I found a few faults and it. it's got some great patterns in it with the, you know, the diamonds and the shadows and even the, uh, the, the uprights to the stairs. Uh, the downside of this is uh, the angle of view. You could have moved your camera a little bit more to try to get, uh, get the, uh, that white bench out. And uh, probably if you had a little pocket flashlight or something, I'd throw it right up to that, uh, that post that's up there to illuminate, to backlight the, uh, the, the one uh, upright that's, uh, that's in front of the pole. But the other thing is uh, those uh, people walking by are not doing anything for this picture either because it's blocking out the other, the other uh, 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 banister stand. So I'm going to have to take this one out. Okay, 12 Museum Stairway is out. 13 Peabody Patterns. This one is, I, I really like this one. Uh, this is uh, because it looks like lace. Uh, whatever you process, process it in, whether you know, black and white process this, it's uh, really the, uh, the look is very nice. It's, it's very treated very well. I don't know if you did it in Nick software or in Photoshop, or whatever you did it in. Um, the, the center point is just a hair off center, but uh, that's not enough to take it out because it's, this is a well, well uh, processed uh, photo. So we're going to keep this one in. Okay. 13. We're going to keep in 14 rice. Um, this is just random chaos to me. Uh, there's there's a pattern in there somewhere, and I just can't seem to find it. Uh, and uh, treating it uh, with uh, um, a tint doesn't really help it that much. Uh, you have focus in the center and a little off focus in, in the back. Uh, you shot it all the right. I'm looking at the X data, and you, know, you shot it all the right stuff. But uh, it's to me, it's just random chaos. So I'm going to take this one out. 14 rice is out 15 ringling museum wall. Well, this one here is a definite uh, pattern. Uh, what I like most about that is the deep black and just the texture of the, of the wall, you know, cause you got a nice tonality to the texture. Uh, this I will keep. Okay. 15 is in 16 tree bark. That's what I thought it was, uh, because it, again, this can be you know seen as many different things. There's a good uh, good contrast to it, and and a random random pattern to it. But there is not enough to it to keep me interested. So I'm going to take this one out. Sixteen tree bark is out. Seventeen turkey buzzard feathers. This one, I was just trying to figure out what the heck it was, you know, because I didn't look at the uh, label. And uh, and again, pareidolia is taking over, and you can see so many things in this, uh, just letting these random patterns take over. And uh, uh, up towards the top, it looks like a head and shoulders of somebody, and then it just kind of spreads out and spreads out. And how they processed it, I really like too. Uh, you know, throwing a little frame in there is a nice coup de gras touch. Uh, I'm keeping this one in. 17 is in. 18. UMCP reflection. Okay. And sometimes uh, this is one of those cases where it's good not to read the label. Uh, this because I looked at this and I just I really 
I really like the the layout of it. The, you know, kind of everything kind of draws you in. All these leading lines going everywhere, and and all these extra patterns, the circles, the squares, and what's behind the windows. And one of the things I do like about it is that void space off to the side, uh, basically, because there's just a nice a random texture over there just to kind of fill that space. Uh, this I'm keeping. 18 is in. 19, Yana. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't count the patterns and uh, as uh, the, shade, um, the shade itself as patterns, but the very subtle patterns across her face with it. And the lighting is very, very good. Someone knows their way around lighting uh, with this photo. Uh, the, um, the, the tint is good. Uh, focus is great. Everything is good about this picture. I can't, uh, can't find any flaws with it. So we're keeping this one in. 19 is in. 20, enlightenment. Well, I looked at this one here for a while. Um, I don't know if the shadow actually does it any good. I mean, I can see the pattern of that. I would have liked to see more of just basically, if you just zoomed in on that, on that lamp itself, the lamp itself is where all the action is. Uh, that could have been a photo in itself. Uh, and so I'm going to take this one out. I think this would have been better just as the lamp. Okay. 20 enlightenment is out and that is, uh, everything uh, we've been right through. Let's go back and see what we've got left. Okay. Let me put this into the flag category and G for grid. We have 11 so left. Two. We need to get down to six. Okay. We can either bring them up as a thumbnail, as thumbnails and uh, kind of kind of enlarge them, or we can go through them. Yeah, bring them up as thumbnails for your uh, for your audience. There, I have them on my screen here. Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna just you just size these a little bit so I can see them all. Uh, and I'm going to have to eliminate. Let's well, see. We need a total of six, so I'm going to have to eliminate six. Number six is the microphone, right? No. Uh, Wait a second. Oops. Yeah, which uh, which number yes. are you using? Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm just looking at. The, we have a total a total of eleven, mm -hmm. and we need to keep six. So I need to uh, reduce it, reduce five. Oh yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All righty. Um, this is going to be extremely difficult. Uh, I'm going to uh, see. I'm going to take the mic out. Number six, microphone diagonal is out. Okay. Uh, I'm taking number four out. Now, is that six crystal ball reflection and refraction? No, I was okay. trying. I mean, uh, zoom in on it so I can actually see the number. Is that butterfly uh, four butterfly? No, uh, the uh, the one on the uh, train tracks. Now that's uh, the Lightroom is numbered that number three, and that is uh, the follow name on that is five Christina. Is that the correct one? Yeah, that's number three on, in Lightroom. Yeah, exactly, okay. Christina. That's one. Yes, that one's out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, number four uh, in the in Lightroom, which is the posterized wings. Number eight, feathers, which is number four in Lightroom. Right. That correct. Okay, that's out. Boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit here. Okay, number one in your hymnal and number one in Lightroom. Uh, the, the the pattern or the uh, door, the wall, mm -hmm. the wall. We'll have to uh, take that one as much as I hate to. Okay. Number one, abstract wall is out. 
Okay. One more, I believe. Okay, number four in Lightroom, and I think it's number 15 to you, uh, of the, uh, the uh, wall patterns. Ringling Museum wall? That's the one, yeah. Okay, that one's out as well. Okay, we have now uh, we now have six. You just need to come up with a two honorable mentions and a first through fourth. Okay, and uh, that is not to say that those guys don't deserve mention. <laughs> mm -hmm. They are all very good. Uh, let me just eliminate that. Oops. Oh, shucks. Let me go back to museum. Come back. Okay, there we go. So I've got six up. And I'm going to go by number of preference here. I am going to put the Peabody Museum as number one. Okay. 13 Peabody patterns. That's number one. Uh, uh, number one in Lightroom. And uh, the Butterfly is number two. Okay. Butterfly is second place. Uh-huh. Number three, I will award to the uh, buzzard feather. Uh, it's number four in my Lightroom. Mm -hmm. Third place. Fourth place, Yana. Number six, also file name number 19, Yana. Fourth place. Yes. And then honorable mention. The honorable mention year. will be the, uh, yeah. Uh, UMPC reflections. And also the crystal ball reflection, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll put, uh, what's it? Yeah, and the crystal ball, exactly. I don't know okay, what here's what we've got for uh, for results for the unlimited monochrome. Honorable mention to David Joyner for UMCP reflections. Honorable mention to Mike Thomas for crystal ball reflection and refraction. Fourth place to Fred Venezia for Yana. Third place to J.C. Williams for Turkey Buzzard Feathers. Second place to Kathy Hockle for Butterfly. And first place to David Joyner for Peabody Patterns. Congratulations, everyone. That was a tough one. Yeah, they're all very good. I mean, <laughs> you got some. You got some guys another way around the camera there. When you are ready, I've got the novice color up. I do too. And we have twelve of these. We need to get to a first through fourth and one honorable mention. Okay. I am on number one, which is cable patterns. Let me know when I can begin. Uh, go ahead, and I've got it too. Okay, go number next. one, cable patterns. Mm-hmm. Number two, corn pinwheel. Hold on a second. Uh, let me put these things. For, for each gallery, you may need to do the uh, the sort by yeah. file name. Yeah, I thought I did. I, no, I haven't. I have, do have them sorted by file name. Hmm. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm in uh, the wrong category. Ah, no problem. I do apologize. Yeah, let me go back here. Okay. Uh, yeah, corn pinwheel. I'm, I'm on it. Thank okay, that's number two was corn pinwheel. Mm -hmm. Number three was divergent line patterns. Number okay. four, actually, excuse me, I have another, I have another three here. Um, th we'll call this three B echoes from the past. Okay. Four golden slices. Okay. Five grass invaders. Okay. We'll call this one a 5B in Philadelphia. Okay. Seven, mesmerizing. All right. Eight, Regina. Okay. Nine, Samuel's pattern. All right. Ten, sunlit leaf. Good. 
11, Twisted Legs. All right. And that's it. We're going to start back on number one, which is Cable Patterns. All righty. Okay. uh, I'm not sure the color does this one really good. Uh, This one here, if you hit the B key on your Lightroom, you get black black and white. And that's why I I always toggle back and forth on color images to see how how it works in black and white. And uh, this one here, the colors just kind of make it dull looking. Uh, the pattern is good. The, the photograph is good. Uh, I like the lines and all the stuff like that. Uh, but it's uh, you might want to try to re-enter that as a black and white. I'm going to take uh, take this one out. One cable patterns is out. Two corn pinwheel. Uh, corn pinwheel. Uh, this one here is a little over contrasty. Uh, and the focus is not really uniform either. Again, if you're gonna shoot from this angle, you should basically have uniform focus all the way down uh, because my, I'll go from, from the focused objects to the non-focused objects. The texture is good, the lighting is not so good. So uh, one thing you could do sometimes is you know take your hat off and, and just you know, create some shade over, over the object. Uh, that would make the colors pop a little bit better and take a lot of that contrast away. So we're going to take this one out. Two corn pinwheel is out. Three divergent line patterns. This one here is uh, the focus is good, texture is good. I don't know what it is, and not even, nor does it really matter. I would have liked to seen it just a touch wider so I could see where those converging lines go to. Uh, the points at the top and the bottom. Uh, I don't know if the outer edges actually do anything for this uh, or not, if you just kind of made it a vertical uh, shot and brought in the sides and then you know, widened out a little bit just so you could see the, where the points at the tops and bottoms go. But with that said, I'm going to keep this in because uh, I, like, I like the color and I like the tonality of it. And again, this is one that actually uh, renders well in black and white as well, too. Three, we're going to keep in. 3B, Echoes from the Past. Okay. Uh, This is actually shot well. The the exposure is good. Lighting is good. I'm not so hot on the leaning angles, but it's not enough to take it out. Uh, I'm going to leave this one in. 3B, left in. Four, golden slices. Okay, this one here, uh, it's got a nice sheen to it. Good glisten. Uh, the reds are really poppy. Um, and uh, the glaze, it all stands out. I kind of know what it is. It's a good food shot. Uh, it's got patterns, so it fits all the categories here. Uh, I'm going to leave this one in as well. Number four is in. Five, Grass Invaders. This one here kind of leaves me a little flat. Uh, you got all the stuff going to it, but the lighting is not so good. <clears throat> Midday shot. And, um, maybe late in the day because I'm showing, showing some shadow here. But there's all those green blobs, uh, and um, probably if there was a little bit more texture to them, uh, would make them a little bit more stand out a little bit more. But otherwise, I'm just seeing green green blobs on a patterned patterned uh, paved uh, paveway. So I'm going to take this one out. Okay, five grass invaders is out. Five B in Philadelphia. Okay, uh, this one here, I you know I. In Lightroom, I kind of, you know, I, I looked at it from every angle. I twisted it around sideways, upside down, and uh, backwards and forwards and flipped it and did everything. Is trying to see uh, if, if this was actually intentionally a wall or was a, uh, or put sideways like this. Uh, it's, you got this nice conversion line. You follow it down. You follow it. It's got the colors and everything else. It probably could use a little bit more sheen and texture which is easily to do easy to do in lightroom uh and uh that would actually give it a little bit more pop uh and it's got patterns it's got lots of patterns but it's just 
this would be actually work well as a background to something if you want to put you know a cutout of somebody on top of it but other than that as it stands alone i'm gonna to have to take this one out okay 5b in philadelphia is out stand there we go seven mesmerizing okay it looks like a uh, a new cone flower it's got a nice little water beads on there this is uh, actually shot very well good macro uh nice color tonality a little hot in some spots you can bring the hot particularly on the right side uh but other than that uh it's it's a good shot and uh i'm keeping this one in okay seven is in eight regina <laughs> I don't know if this is a wall or wallpaper. It's just, uh, I guess it looks like wallpaper with tiles on it. I, I can't really tell, but it's kind of like taking a picture of art. Uh, and, and with that said, the patterns are there, but they're, you know, they're not something that, uh, that you put in yourself. So I'm gonna have to take this one out. Okay, eight, Regina is out. Nine, Samuel's pattern. Okay, this one here, I don't know if the green background does you any favors. And uh, I would have, looking at it flat from the top just doesn't really do anything. If you had actually tilted it and shot it with, a, you know, to show some dimension to those objects and perhaps put a light down low to the side to rake and pull those shadows out longer, uh, that would have been a much more interesting photo. Uh, and with that said, it's, it's a little dull and I don't think it's going to uh, make the cut here. So we're going to take this one out. Nine Samuel's pattern is out. 10 sunlit leaf. Now this one is good. Uh, I like this. Uh, I got the pattern going on. You really picked it up. The lighting is good on it. Very good on it. Uh, cause you're picking up all the shadows and the texture uh this one here is very easy on the eyes particularly the color i don't know if you altered the color or not but it's a it's a pleasing color uh but i i i, I like the contrast uh the tonality the color contrast of it uh so we're going to keep this one 10 is in 11 twisted legs twisted legs oh there's a pattern there and it's furniture it's not quite in focus, and it, to me, it looks like an empty frame. If you sat a pet or something back there between the two center frames, at least you would have something to look at, uh, you know, a cat or whatever. Uh, other than that, it's just, uh, it's just random pattern, or it's actually not even random, it's patterns, but it's not really of any particular interest. Uh, you need to put something of interest in that photo. So I'm going to take this one out too. Okay, number 11, Twisted Legs, is out. And I believe that's it. Let's go back and see how many we've got left. Okay, I'm looking at five, I do believe. Let me bring up here, metadata, attribute. There we go, I have five as well. Okay. And that's good because we need a first through fourth and one honorable honorable mention. Okay. Let's see. This is the hard part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on a second here. Let me just get into the... Looking at these here, I'm going to take... Uh... What would be number 10 on your on your list there, the, uh, the leaves. I'm going to make that... The first. Okay, first place. It seems to be the most appealing to me right now. And back in, in nature for patterns, uh, the uh, one next to it of the uh, cone flower, I believe it is. Uh, Number seven, mesmerizing? Mesmerizing, yes. What place that for that one? Second place. Okay, second place. Wait a second. Uh, Which one am I missing here? I got five here. Oh yeah, okay. So this guy, I forgot to take this guy out. He came out. Okay. Um, I am going to take the. Uh, I can read that label up there again. 
uh, be number three on your sheet, number two on, on up here. Uh, you will get third place of the, uh, the church, the okay. Abbey. Okay, that is third place. That is uh, officially on my screen. It's three echoes from the past, right? Echoes from the past. Okay, Great. yeah. Just to make sure. Okay, and the pineapple upside down cake uh, gets my fourth. Fourth. And then honorable goes to divergent line patterns. Let me sort these up and we'll announce the winners. Honorable mention to Ed and Hinky for divergent line patterns. Fourth place to golden slices, and that is Julie Bennett. Third place to Doug Wood, Echoes from the Past. Second place goes to Elaine Hambly for Mesmerizing. And first place to Terry Jackson with Sunlit Leaf. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations, everyone. Oh, that's, that's good stuff. Doug Wood says that is, uh, that is St. Patrick's in Dublin. The, uh, oh, the okay. echoes from the past. Thanks for sharing that, Doug. Okay, I have got unlimited color on screen. I do as well. And uh, we'll make sure we're on the same page. Uh, one morning over Celery Bay. Yes. Okay, I'll continue from here. Two, Columbia Reflections. Okay. Three, Florida Polytech. All right. Four, Furniture. Okay. Five, Infinity of Books. Okay. Six, Kayak. Okay. That's kind of weird what they were. Seven, Light Speed Watermelon. Okay. Eight, Lotus. All right. Nine, Morning Joe. Okay. Ten, Oculus. Okay. I guess that one. Eleven, Old Door. Okay. Twelve, Painted Organics. Okay. Thirteen, Quilt Patterns. All righty. 14, red, green, blue, refraction. All right. 15, red, binder. Okay. 16, roadside, wildflower. All right. 17, Roslyn curves. Good. 18, stream. All right. 19, Summer Foxtail Grass. Okay. 20, Water Pattern. Mm -hmm. Good. And that is it. And when you're okay. ready, we'll start at number one, Morning Over Celery Bay. Okay. This one I like because of the layering. That's uh, very good. you got so many textures and you know, different layers of, uh, of, of colors going on. And this random pattern of stuff is just uh this is uh this is one you can sit and gaze at for a bit uh i like this one we're going to keep it one is in two columbia reflections okay all the elements are here um but it is lacking interest in my on my part uh it's it's well done it's well shot it, everything is there but it doesn't really have the punch uh, considering the amount of uh, words I'm going to have to give out. So I'm going to have to take this one out. Okay, two, Columbia Reflections is out. Three, Florida Polytech. This one has uh, a lot going for it, except the sky is a little bit too much. Uh, it's, that color just doesn't, and um, I just color corrected my monitor today too. Uh, that color is a, too dark and it's uh, a bit too much cayenne or something, and I can't tell what it is. But I hit the V key on this one here, turn it into black and white, and it's definitely a contender for black and white. So I'm going to take it out of this category. 
Okay, three, Florida Polytech is out. Four, Furniture. This one here uh, has many elements of, of focal problems uh, that I can't seem to do. I've got the pattern of 20 going on. Uh, it's, and it seems to lose focus somewhere around the middle, it looks like. Uh, perhaps because they shot this probably handheld at a quarter of a second or a half a second, it looks like, uh, at 200 millimeters. So, yeah, it's probably a motion blur. Uh, so I'm going to take this one out. Four furniture is out. Five, infinity of books. Infinity of books. Uh, if you're going to shoot something like this, your line's got to be straight. You go, you got your, uh, because you're shooting from that angle, you definitely have to, you know, do some transform in uh, Lightroom or uh, Camera Raw because you got the, 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 uh, the, um, the shelves are kind of leaning into each other. And you got this whole leading line leading you to a back row of books with you know, no particular interest, but at least if the lines were straight, uh, that would give it a little bit more impact. So I'm going to take this one out. Five, Infinity of Books is out. Six, Kayak. This one I was looking at, and I thought they might be canoes, but I couldn't tell because they look a little shallow in the middle. But uh, the colors I really like in the, in the, uh, the chain across the top it just gives it uh, more interest. Uh, it's it is a little soft in focus, but you know it looks it, it works with this with this pattern and and these objects because you can't really tell what the objects are and that's what, unless you look at the label. So I'm going to keep this one in, and I like the fact that it's panoramic like that too. Just kind of uh, it makes the statement. Okay, six is in. Seven light speed watermelon. Uh so uh, I, I looked at this for a while, too, and I did not look at the label. And, you know, I say half of it's in focus, half of it's not. And I guess that is the motion part of this. Uh, it is shot, shot at a very wide aperture at 2.8 at, uh, at uh, about a quarter of a second. Uh, and but it doesn't it doesn't really lack interest, so, you know, because of how it's composed in there. Uh, more of an angle may have helped. Uh, because it's it's kind of like in one of those weird uh, positions where it's not really straight and it's not really angled, uh, you know, radically angled. So I'm going to take this one out. Seven light speed watermelon is out. Eight lotus. Okay, this is a lovely macro of a lotus, and it's a lovely composition. The colors are there. Uh, very subtle too, because uh, people have generally have a tendency to to saturate the magentas up a bit on this. Uh, the lighting is good too, because uh, up in the upper uh, upper left up there too, he could have uh, blown out that, but you, you controlled it very nicely. I'm going to keep this one in. Number eight is in. Number. Why are we going back? I think I'm in. Uh, I'm in compare mode. Let me get out of here. Okay. I have the coffee cup up. Yes. Perfect. Number nine, Morning Joe. Okay. Uh, this looks like a perfectly good stock shot. Uh, it's 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 uh, focused where it needs to be. Drops off in the back. Uh, it, it has the statement. Uh, the patterns are there. I'm going to keep this one in. Okay, number nine is in. Ten, Oculus. Yeah, I noticed this when I first saw it. I said, that, that, that is a beautiful angle and view of the Oculus. you got a lot of things going in here, too, with the uh, diagonal lines and the curves and the spikes. The Oculus is just a lovely place to shoot. Uh, and the fact that you got the... Uh, the reflected building, the, the mirrored building in the back uh, with all the patterns on that as well, man. You can just say you scored a lot of points on this one here just just for, uh, you know, having all the patterns and lines going on. So this one is definitely in. Number 10 is in. I must be in some kind of compare mode. Let me go back and make sure I am uh, I'm disc I am not uh, checking that out. There we go. Let's try that again. Okay, we have number 11, Old Door, next. Old door. Uh, this one's got a lot going for it too. Uh, 
Uh, but it, it seems to get a little bit lost in the in the, the dullish uh, color uh, of the room itself. I mean, it's got, I can't say one thing good or bad for it. I'm, I'm gonna keep this one in, but I, I switch, you know, I hit the V key on this one here and turn to black and white. And this is make a great black and white, uh, but I'm gonna keep this one in. 11 is in. 12, painted organics. I don't know if they took this into Photoshop and basically inverted the colors. Uh, it'd make a nice wallpaper uh, and a pattern for uh, a background, but I don't know if it really has enough interest to make it into this competition. So I'm gonna take this one out. 12 painted organics is out. 13 quilt patterns. Uh, quilt patterns. This is another uh, instance of um, looking at somebody else's art. You just laid it on the ground. You have it nicely composed, uh, you know, point to point on the diagonal. But uh, I can't say that uh, you know it's a little out, out of focus down in the in the lower uh, lower left. I'm going to take this one out. This just um, this one doesn't make the cut. Thirteen quilt patterns is out. Fourteen red, green, blue refraction. This one uh, is very, very good. Uh, focus is there. I like it. Uh, a little, you know, I tend to be anal about, uh, you know, where I place my line. Uh, and, but uh, it it's, works well, and particularly that center cup, the, uh, the, the, uh, the red, white, and blue, you've just got that on point. Uh, I love that, and I love the, uh, the lighting and the, the, the colors. It, uh, it's very subtle and uh, very striking. Uh, this one stays. 14 is in. 15, red binder. Red binder, the, the idea is good. And I like it. Uh, however, I would have liked to seen uh, a little bit more bisecting of it, too, because otherwise you just got red and white and black, which I think is the German flag. Uh, but if you uh, put a point to point, on the diagonal, I think it would have been just a touch more interesting because it's it's a little weighted heavy to the bottom. So I'm going to take this one out. 15 red binder is out. 16 roadside wildflower. This one here uh, really intrigued me as well too. I like the composition of it because it's not dead center. Uh, it's just slightly off kilter, uh, but the, the focus is just right on the money and how you did this with a 500 millimeter lens uh you probably did it from across the street i don't know uh it's it's at, at, at f7 it nonetheless too because uh that close with a 500 mirror le lens i mean you just uh you know, you'd have one pedal in focus uh this one stays in this is very well done 16 is in 17 roslyn curves This is another one here is in color, uh, doesn't really do, do it justice. Uh, this one here screams black and white. I turned it into black and white and it is a contender there, but the colors are a touch dull on, on here too. And the cloud patterns really show up nicely in black and white. I'm gonna take this one out, but you resubmit it as a black and white. I think you'll do well with it. 17, Rosalind Curves is out. 18, Stream. This one here is very good too. I don't know uh, if the colors were added or not. Uh, it's because they're so subtle uh, yeah, in hue and uh, intensity. Uh, I looked at this one black and white. It could work either way in black and white or color. Uh, but it is, uh, he caught it at a nice speed. It's, it's not too soft. And it should still show some uh, some dynamic motion to it. So uh, I like it. We're going to keep it in. 18 is in. 19, Summer Foxtail Grass. This one I was debating on if this was, you know, all paper pattern or if it was uh, if you laid something down on a on a uh, on a yellow background. Uh, I'm going to have to look at this at another screen because I'm looking at this on a 5K monitor with a with a very small image of these. So 
10, 24 images don't really render well on a big, on a big screen. So let me just get, take a look at my other monitor. Uh, Foxtale, that's this one here, okay. Okay, yeah, that's better. Uh, that meets all the qualifications. Uh, I'm gonna keep this one in. Okay, 19 is in. 20, water pattern. Yeah, the water the water ripples are nice. Uh, in a, a very lovely nature photo too. I would say though, uh, if I was uh, doing the uh, the color on this too, I would take a little bit of the blue out of the uh, out of the blue heron, uh, uh, or at least desaturated just a touch, uh, because it almost looks like uh, it's not natural but uh the uh it's it's a lovely photo it's a lovely nature photo and the in the patterns are there in the water so uh, i'm keeping this one in 20 is in and that is it let's go back and see what we've got left <laughs> yeah okay. so we got a lot here i think I, there was like 20 photos in here yes okay we're down to 12. i'm gonna hit my flagged photos up here and we need six we need to cut half of them out Eight, ten. You got twelve. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. I'm missing one here, so yeah, put them all back up and see which one I forgot to. to I'll, get to I'll put pick them back. On it. I'll share that with you, and you'll okay, be able to see which you. one. Take the filters off again. Put the G up. Turn this off here, and let's see. Ah, okay. Uh, let me see the copy. Nope, the copy is picked. Nor the Oculus. Uh, I I don't think I picked the uh, the one, the Roslyn one. Let's see, which one was that? Number nine. Yes, I think you're correct. Actually, let me make sure on my screen to make sure that I, I because I, I always do double. Yes, you are correct. Thank okay. you for thank you for that. Okay, now we're down to eleven. We need to get down to six. Okay. Put my flags back up. Reduce my screen size so I can see them all. I'm going to uh, take out the Morning Joe, which is number nine on yours, number four on mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number four and number nine, Morning Joe's out. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the, got what it's called here, but it'd be number nine and it's probably, yeah, it's yeah, number nine on your screen there. 19 summer foxtail grass. Yes. Okay. Would you like that one out? Take that one out. Okay. Yes. That one's out. Uh, I need a total of six, you say, for this? Correct. Now, now, of course, if you would like to just start awarding placement, you can do that as well instead of just pulling pulling out, whatever you'd like to do. Okay. Well, if I want to go by placement, oh, I will do that. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Something's got to go. Uh Number five on your screen, uh, I will take out. 11, Old Door? Yes. Okay, that one's out. Uh, 
Okay, and I will take out eight and nine as well. Now I only have eight on the screen, and that is a uh, that is n number twenty water pattern. Water pattern, yes. Okay, we have seven left. Seven left. Okay, take this one out, and uh, uh, the heron, which is. Okay, we just took the heron out. Yep. Okay. Now we, we have... just. Okay, I'm I'm looking at your screen, so I'm. <laughs> okay, so we're down to six now, right? Yes. No, excuse me, seven. We're down to seven now. I if you'd like took... to verify with my screen, you can. Okay. Uh, you took out the water water pattern as well, right? That was the heron. Yes. Okay, and and oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, the uh the the ones of the of the of the of the rolling waves. I, I took that one out so I can't remember what it was called. This one here, it's number num seven, number three. seven, number eighteen stream. Okay, that one's out, and we're now down to the number that we need. Okay. And we see uh, first through fourth and two honors. This is spectacularly difficult right now. Wait a second. Uh, did you take out? Um, hold on a second. I think you took one out. Okay. I wanted to keep. Yeah. Uh, the last two we took out was the number eight, uh, number eighteen on your screen, eighteen stream, and then also the water okay, pattern. Okay. I, okay. Now I said okay. I, I I keep forgetting we have a bit of a delay, so I'm looking at your screen. Okay. And now uh, if and you're mine at the same time. if you're watching Facebook, I would say not to watch Facebook. Go over to Streamyard. Yeah, and I shouldn't. Okay. Uh, that's where we're having a problem. Yeah, go over to StreamYard because I'm sharing the real time screen just for you, so that we're on the same pad, on the same page. Well, actually, I don't see the real time screen on the StreamYard. No. Hmm. No, I, I've just got blank screen here. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. So okay, we're gonna get down to the uh, the final final six. I'm gonna give. Uh, now let's let's let, let's wait uh, let's wait a couple seconds and make sure that we're on the same page. I just brought up the final six that I have. I want to make sure that the same final six that you've got on your screen. That way we're that way we're as fair as we can be. Okay, I will. I'll read them off to you to show you the ones that I have. Okay. Uh, I just have to make the screen a little bit larger here. I can actually read the names. Okay, uh, I got. Morning over Celery Bay. Correct. Uh, the kayaks. Correct. The um, Lotus. Correct. Oculus. Uh huh. And Blue Reflections. Mm -hmm. And Wildflower. We're on the same page. Good. Okay. And uh, I'm going to put give the top honor to uh, Green Blue Reflections. Red, green, blue reflection. That's first place. That's first place. The Oculus gets second. Second place. This is where it gets really dicey. <laughs> uh, third place to Morning Over Celery Bay. Third place. Okay, just in terms of patterns, I'm going to give it to kayaks. And that is first place. Okay. An honorable mention to the last two. Yes. Let me bring this up. And we've got our winners. Uh, honorable mention to Kathy Hockle for Lotus. Honorable mention to J.C. Williams for Roadside Wildflower. Fourth place to Louis Sapienza for Kayak. Third place to Ron Piper for Morning Over Celery Bay. Second place to Ron Piper for Oculus. And first place to Mike Thomas for Red, Green, Blue, Refraction. Great work. Congratulations, everyone. Mike, do we have any any uh, any time? Would you like to ask and if anybody has any questions or comments? Would you sure, like to no, those? I'll be glad to answer questions. Okay. Uh, we've got plenty of time. 
And we'll we'll just give Facebook a couple seconds to uh, to catch up. If anybody has any questions for Mike, feel free to send them over to chat, and we will uh, we will relay those. Mike, where can people find you online? Uh, I have uh, I've got uh, I'm on Facebook, uh, Mike L. Washington, or uh, I usually go by my uh, my avatar name, which is Crewmeister, K R E W E M E I S T E R. You can find me by both names uh, on Facebook and or Instagram. I do post to Instagram probably more often than I do the face. Facebook. I've got, you know, the usual sources. Uh, I've got a, um, a um, uh, Flickr page and uh, a Smug Mug page. Smug Mug would be under uh, Mike, Mike, Michael Washington or Mike L. Washington, one of the two. Uh, but um, I'm findable. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I'm not a stranger to your club either. I've, uh, I've uh, been an interloper there, sat in a few sessions from time to time when you were live. And uh, I have a judge one other contest of yours. I think it was on uh, triptychs. Oh, fantastic. We have one question uh, for from Susan. She wanted to know if you understood what Samuel's pattern was. Samuel's pattern. Uh, which uh, class was that in? That's a novice color. I also have that up on StreamYard, and it will show up on Facebook as well. If you'd like oh, to yeah. look at that. No, actually, I'm not familiar with uh, the pattern. It kind of, to me, it did look like some sort of a, you know, code. Uh, the way it was laid out, uh, some sort of Boris code. But uh, since I didn't know the pattern nor the code, uh, that's why I made the suggestions that I did to make the photo a little bit more interesting. And sa- 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 Susan, I know what that is. That is Morse code. And does anybody in the uh, in the chat know what that says? Benefits from being a radio nerd, Mike. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is Morse code for pattern. P a t t e r n. Okay. P a t t e r n s. Actually, the last the last uh, the last one's an s. Very nice. I, guess I should have studied. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fred says thank you. And uh, Susan does say it's the word pattern spelled in Morse code. And uh, JC has congratulated everybody for very, very good images. I, I don't think we have anything else for you, Mike. I want to thank you so much for, for joining us and, and giving us your valuable time to, uh, to, to judge our, our contest. And I want to remind everyone uh, just of the, a couple, couple of the scheduled events. Uh, we'll make sure tomorrow night our fundraiser has been canceled. Next week we have a program with Steve Hain on reproduction photo cases. And then uh, make sure to get in your photo assignments for the card and board games. And with that, we're going to close the meeting. Thank you, everybody, for, for joining us. Thank you, Mr. Well, Washington. For me. And we'll catch everybody next week. Goodbye. <laughs>